another beautiful day outside, so we're gonna practice again outside, and I urge all of you, um, if you have a place where there's sun, to just go and sit there and soak in the warmth of the sun and the energy of the sun. It's the vital energy. You wanna bring it in and you wanna feel it on your body, and it's really, really important at this time just to warm us up. Um, today's Kriya is going to be to strengthen our navel center, where we hold a lot of our self-worth um, and how we show up in the world and our feelings of security. Um, we'll be working on um, cleaning our liver a little bit. And uh, overall, it's a good Kriya. Um, I'm going to use the same playlist as yesterday because I'm obsessed with every single song on that playlist and I will add a link to it after I finish recording this so you guys can practice at home. And for today's uh, purposes of keeping the Kriya short so you guys don't check out after 20 minutes, instead of doing each pose for three minutes, which is recommended, we're gonna do it for one minute. One and a half for some of them and one minute. Um, I can't enforce enough how important how important it is for us to stay centered at this time. We have to. It's our duty. You know, with great power comes great responsibility. So this is our responsibility. So I really hope these videos are helping you. Um, if they are, and if you're joining in, like wave or something, because I recorded and then afterwards I can't see like people participated or didn't participate. I can see who like tuned in, but I don't know who stayed. Um, and I'd like to know for my own little personal um, knowledge. Um, and if you have any comments or any um, anything you wanna share with me, please feel free to comment it below or to send me a private message. Thank you. So <clears throat> let's tune in with the uh, Adi Mantra. Ong Namor Guru Dev Namor three times. Ong Namor means the divine principle. Uh, Namor means I bow. Guru Dev means to the Guru, the teacher, the dispeller of darkness with light within me. I bow. So you're kind of just bowing to the creation, and you're bowing to the yourself because you are the create you are in it you are a part of creation and you are your creator and you are also that which is is within us right so you're just bowing to the greatness of who you are which i think is a really important practice every morning to just you know tune in even just placing your hands on your heart Taking a long deep breath. Connecting to your heartbeats. Whispering the word I love you or thank you. This is a great pose for gratitude. If you want to do a gratitude practice in the morning just connecting to your truth you know it's your heart it's your love that's who you are that's that's the truth of all of us everything else around all the noise all the drama it's just a story right this is the only thing that's real right here and when we're faced with you know really scary trying times a lot of us can go into like panic and fear but at the underlying um, level of like everything is love. So we want to stay, instead of going into the fear, into our minds, we want to bring our energy down into our hearts and connect to this space of, it, it's a space of freedom, love, connection, oneness, all of this. So, um, okay, let's tune in. I'm talking too much. <clears throat> Rubbing the palms of your hands together. Make sure that your spine is lengthened. Your seat bones are firmly planted on the ground. Inhale deeply. And exhale. 
Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose, keeping our neck slightly tucked in to create a, a clear line, a straight line from our lower chakra up our spine to the crown of our heads as if someone's pulling on a string. So rubbing the palms together, creating the magnetic field between our hands, our masculine and feminine, inhaling them into the center of our heart, to the center of truth, yoking the two energies together. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. And we're gonna inhale deeply. Inhale to tune in with Ong Namor three times. Ong Namor Guru De Namor. Ong chest, allowing an intention to arise from our heart center. Maybe it's something you want to bring in today's practice. Maybe it's something that you want to let go. Maybe it's a goal that you want to achieve something throughout your day or something longer term. Just bring in your intention. And on the count of three, I want you to whisper out your intention into the quantum field, allowing it to do its job. One, two, three. bringing your hands onto your knees, beginning a Sufi grind, inhaling as our body comes forward, and exhaling as it goes back, we're opening our chest as we come forward, inhaling all the air, and then as we go back, we're drawing our navel into our spine, curving our spine, and exhaling, inhaling everything open, and then exhaling it closed. And we're keeping our neck in a slight neck lock because we want to keep the pathway open. I'm obsessed with this song. Every woman needs to listen to this song and listen to the lyrics and just connect to them because it's so true, guys. Back, keeping your eyes closed, keeping your neck locked, focusing your drishti between your eyebrows at your third eye. Really loop. 
lubricating our spine, opening up our pelvic area, getting ready, just warming our body up.
back is warming up and you're feeling more fluid, you can begin to move in a more dynamic way with a very dynamic breath. Inhaling as you come up and allowing the air to be pushed out as you come down and you contract your stomach muscles. Inhaling up. Focus in at your third eye and just allow yourself to be in the motion. Without any thoughts, just allowing your body to do what it naturally knows how to do.
see here. bring everything back in. And we're opening up and we're bringing back in. And this is working on our auric fields. Inhaling as we open, exhaling as we close. side to side. Releasing your right leg and bringing it up. Make room for myself. Just really quickly. Inhaling up, exhaling down.
looking at joining the left leg with the right leg, bending the left knee into the chest and exhaling down and inhaling up. This actually feels good. It's like opening your pelvic area. Keeping your toes engaged. Keeping your shoulders flat, your back flat on the ground. chest, rocking from side to side. <clears throat> now, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to stand. I can, like, my legs are like jello. This is so awesome. So I'm going to stand. I don't know. I hope you can see. Um, I don't know if you can. Basically what we're doing is we're bringing our arms up so that our arms touch our ears and our hands, our palms are facing the ceiling. We're inhaling up and exhaling down. We want our hands to touch the floor. So if you cannot reach the floor like me, bend your legs a little bit and inhale up and exhale down. Cleansing your auric field. You're projecting the energy you've cultivated out your palms and around your body to create a protective field. This exercise also cleans the liver. detoxifies your body. My suggestion is that you close your eyes and just flow, like move with the momentum of your body, move with the energy don't think too much, just go. <coughs> Inhaling up, exhaling down. Feel the greatness of who you are. Make sure your heels are planted very well into the ground. together, projecting out, exhaling down, pushing your palms out, coming into this kind of like horse riding position. Your, your legs are hips, it's a hip distance apart. Your pelvic isn't like this. It's slightly turned in. Your palms are facing out. You're going to project out your auric fields. You're going to use the energy you cultivate in your body. You're going to push it out of your hands and create a safe, auric, energetic, magnetic field around your body, whatever you want to call it. It's amazing. And begin breath of fire. I'm out of breath. <laughs> begin breath of fire. If you're pregnant or in your first three days of your moon cycle, just a long, deep breath. And if you're not, let's go.
holding your breath, squeezing your mother band, directing the sex organs and navel, drawing the energy up your spine to your heart, out of your hands. And exhale, letting all the locks go. Inhaling again. Squeezing your mula button, rectum, sex organs, enable, drawing the energy up to your heart, down your arms, out the palm of your hands. Project. Strengthen your magnetic fields. Inhaling deeply again. Squeezing your mula button, rectum, sex organs, enable, drawing the energy up your spine, to your heart, out your palms, and release. Ooh, I love that one. Mm. Come sit in an easy pose. You're gonna bring your palms up to Adi, the Adi Mudra, your index, which is your wisdom, is the Jupiter finger, in with your ego finger, your thumb. You're gonna bring them together to touch. Bring your arms up to 90 degrees. And you're gonna inhale left, exhale right. As we prepare our body for meditation, we're using the wisdom finger to draw in the wisdom from above. We're twisting from side to side, massaging our kidneys, releasing any fear that we might have stored in our kidneys. Fear is not helpful right now, nor is it ever. Just release it. We're working with the vagus nerve. Heart center, activating our heart chakra. This is an amazing pose. We're using our pranic body. So you really wanna like inhale left, exhale right, inhale left, exhale right, inhale left, exhale right. The loud noise. I want it to be very dynamic and I want you to be able, I want your husband or your kid to be like, what the hell are you doing? Or whoever, maybe your dog. I want them to be like, what is she doing? Because the deeper the breath, the greater the reward. Remember to keep your attention between your third eye on your third eye. Notice which side is easier for you to twist to. Is it your left side? Is it your right side? This will say a lot about your energy right now. Your left side is your feminine, your right is your masculine. What are you connecting to more right now? Inhaling to center. Bringing your arms up. Creating teepee above the head. Long deep breath. is slightly locked, you might be experiencing shaking in your body, it's the way of your body cleaning itself out from toxins, from emotions. I'm shaking like crazy and I'm so happy. The body knows how to heal itself. When it starts shaking like this, that's precisely what it's doing. It's removing, it's shaking out whatever is not needed, whatever has been stored that needs to go. Bring your arms down. How good does that feel? <coughs> 
So we are going to bring our thumb and our pinky on our left hand, our thumb and our pinky together. <clears throat> this is our mercury finger, it's our mind, it's our communication. And we're gonna bring our ring and our thumb together on our right hand. And this is our heart. This is the heart meridian. So we wanna communicate from our hearts. That's what we want. I'm just gonna sit here in meditation. Long, deep breath, breathing in through your nose. And exhaling also from our nose. communicate at this time to all the families out there that are suffering during this time I want to send my energy and my love and my light to people trying to heal at this time from any disease send light and love to Fisla, whose husband is currently in the hospital. So much love and light. to all of you, feel your hearts, feeling this love, feel the energy around your body, imagine this beautiful white auric field around your body, filled with love, protecting you, loving you, warming you, Extensions of source energy, bits and pieces of source energy dwelling in the center of our beings, occupying these bodies. There's no separation, there's no duality, there's no male and female, no black and white. There's nothing but this truth. And the truth is love. Unconditional love from nature, the unconditional love from our children, the unconditional love from our families. my practices, bringing your left hand onto your heart, bringing your right hand above it, 
slightly bowing your head to your chest, to the truth within you, that dwells within you, that's with you all the time. If you're scared, come here. If you're angry, if you're frustrated, if you're sad, come here. This is your truth. This is your center. <clears throat> A lot of us have a tendency when we're dealing with something to look outwards for answers. You know, maybe we'll share the drama with a friend or with a family member and create this kind of dialogue, which is basically an energy because whatever we speak is energy. It's a frequency. It's like, it's an extension of your being. It's, a, it's, it's your current and it goes out into the universe. And it has an energy of its own. So when you have a problem and you talk about it, you're creating a bigger problem. And then you talk about it again and again and again. And that person is talking about it with you and then talking about it with that person's friend. And something that started here becomes like this. The best thing that you can do for yourself when you have a problem is to come and sit down on your mat Put your hand on your heart, bow to the truth of whatever is going to rise, and speak to yourself. Say what your problem is out loud, and let yourself answer yourself out loud for the solution. Because when we speak in our minds, a lot of times we are really cruel. We're really cruel, and we say really hurtful things. But when we speak to ourselves out loud, we're much kinder and much, much, much more wiser, I found. Um, so, coming back to your hearts. Whoever is tuning in, you can just speak to your heart right now. What does your heart have to say to you? you want, you can whisper, you can scream, whatever is present, whatever is here right now, allow it to present itself. Two things. I feel gratitude that I get to do this practice with you every morning and I get to give to you. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and I'm and I'm really grateful that I have this opportunity and this time to spend, you know, nurturing our community and giving back to it, you know, beyond jewelry, like going a little deeper into things that are truly close to my heart. So I'm grateful. Thank you guys so much for participating and for being a part of this journey with me. And I really, really hope that this is um, helping you in some way. Um, if you have any friends you think that would uh, benefit from this kind of practice, please feel free to tag them or send them the link. I'm not sure how it works. And um, you guys can lay down for Shavasana. And uh, I'm gonna put on a really awesome poem for you guys by Muji. He's one of my favorites. Um, and uh, yes, down to 40 minutes. And um, <clears throat> he's incredible. Um, he's so cool. Let's see. Mm. 
just one more moment. One more moment. There's so many things on here. Let's do this one. So lay down in Shavasana. Covering yourself with a blanket. The moon came to me last night with a sweet question. She said, the sun has been my faithful lover for millions of years. Whenever I offer my body to him, brilliant light pours from his heart. Thousands then notice my happiness and delight in pointing towards my beauty. Hafiz, is it true that our destiny is to turn into light itself? And I replied, Dear Moon, now that your love is maturing, we need to sit together close like this more often so I might instruct you how to become who you are.
reaching your arms up over your head. Wrapping your hands around your knees. Rocking from side to side. Back and forth. Ending today's session with a long sat and a short nam. Inhaling deeply and exhaling. And inhaling again for a long sat. Sat. Nam. Bowing your head to your chest. Surrendering to the truth of your hearts, and bowing to the earth, Sapnam, thank you for joining. trying to figure out how to save this so just bear with me because i what is this maybe that button question your viewers will show up here okay so just bear with me guys and